Hey everybody, Dan the Lobster Man here from Lobstergram, and today I'm gonna to show you what to do when you get live lobsters delivered to your door. Don't be nervous, it's really easy, and I'm gonna show you what you need to know. So people ask, what is a lobster gram? So imagine this, the delivery man is just to your door, you bring it in, and then you open it up, and what do you find? First of all, you've got the shell crackers, the butter, the lemon, the bibs, the seafood forks, the instructions, you have absolutely everything for the perfect dinner. And of course, you've got your succulent live lobsters. These were caught fresh in Maine, delivered to you right to your door. Okay, so our next step is how to cook the lobsters. So follow me and I'll show you the best way to do it. Okay, now we're ready to put the lobsters in the cooking pot. So as you notice right here, I've got a big lobster pot for two lobsters. It's a 21 quart pot. I recommend using the biggest pot you can, but you want to make sure that it's a rolling really strong boil. Because once you put the lobsters in there, it's just going to stop boiling. And then when it comes to its second boil, and this is a key, that's when you do your timer and start it. Right now, these lobsters are about a pound and a quarter or so, so that's about a 10 to 11 minutes. So once we put the lobsters in, then we're going to let it to a second boil, then it's going to be 10 to 11 minutes. So we grab our lobsters, you firmly grasp it right behind the main claws. Don't be, don't be squeamish, grab it nice and tight because you don't want them flapping around and falling out. Next thing you want to do is you want to put them in head first. It's painless, they don't feel it, and most of all, they don't scream. I've heard people swear to God that they scream. I've cooked 10,000 lobsters and never had a peep. So you put them in right there, your lobster, put the lid on, it's going to stop boiling for a couple minutes, and as soon as it starts to boil, set your timer depending on the size of the lobster. And that's it. Okay, the lobsters are done. The timer is gone off and it's all good. Be careful. Always use tongs. Look at how beautiful that looks. Right there. That is one of the finest dinners in the entire world right here. And I'll tell you what, look how beautiful that's going to look on this plate too. Look at that. The lobsters are done. And you can tell they're done. They're a nice, beautiful red color. All right, let's get cracking. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. There's a few ways to enjoy lobster. And I found the best way is not to crack everything out at once because then it all gets cold. What I recommend is to start at the tail first. And the tail meat is a little different than the claw meat. The tail meat is a little more firmer. The claws are uh, really super uh, tender and you'll see that and also there's some meat in the uh, the claws here which I think is actually the best part of the whole lobster the other thing about the main lobster is that it has the claws all the other lobsters out there in the world they don't have claws only a main lobster and that is the best part so how do you start real simple grasp the lobster firmly and twist it off just like that real simple okay and then you got all that meat. Now people go, what's that green stuff? Well, that's the liver, the tamale, whatever you want. If you see some pink stuff in there, that is uh, cooked roe, that's the caviar. You're lucky if you get that. So what do you do next? You can see the, fl the flippers here, right? They go like that. The key to, for lobsters is always bend backwards from the joints. So grasp it like this, just like that. And there's gonna be no meat in there. Discard it in the bowl, and then simply take your thumb and push it through, just like that. And there, look at that, you got one giant solid piece of meat. Now the other thing we do is we keep all that in the bowl because this way, if you wanna have some, uh, some lobster stock to make uh, some soup or something, or lobster bisque, or some lobster corn chowder, which is another video, you have all that ready, okay? So now what I would do is I would, I would eat this, and then after that, I would go for the claws. And you can see with lobsters, there's two different claws. There's one that's bigger on a lobster, and that's called the crusher claw. 
And then there's the smaller one is called a shredder claw. So there's two different types of claw. They both taste the same. So the next thing you do is you take the lobster body and again, bend back. See how that comes off? Real, real easy, okay? Again, what do you do? Bend back, okay? Comes right out like that. So now, this is my favorite part of the meat, so I always wait for the end of my dinner to save that because it's so good. So now you got the little lobster thumb, and there's always going to be a little water coming out there. That's what I call a little thumb. Just, like I said, bend back, just like that. And you want to do it slow because you want to get this cartilage out. Don't get it stuck in there because then when you bite into it, you're going to eat that and it's going to be nasty. All right. Next, take your handy dandy lobster graham shell cracker. Go right here in the middle and just crack it a couple times. Just like that. Be careful. There's some sharp edges. If you have to do it again, feel free. And then you're going to get one giant piece of lobster. <laughs> that, that is really good. All right, so I'm discarding my shells. Okay, so next, right? Here's the arms. Always bend back. So be careful. There's a lot of sharp points on those lobsters. Take your cracker. Do you see how easy that went? Go back. And just take your, your little pinky, push it through. And then you're going to get another big chunk of meat out of there. And there's some more meat in there, so just kind of work at it. Oh, there's another chunk. It's kind of like a bonus. Do the same thing with this piece here. Break it back. Remember, always break it back. Push it through. And again, you got a great piece of lobster right here. All right, and then you basically you do the same thing with the other claw. It's, it works exactly the same way. Keep your bodies here. There's a lot of great flavor in there. There is some meat in the legs here. And it takes a little bit of work, but you know if that's all you got, it's well worth it. So that's what I recommend. Uh, also, if, uh, if you want to try something a little different, we do have some recipes at lobstergram.com that will show you how to you know, use the meat uh, for some lobster chowders or lobster tacos, different things like that. Thank you very much for watching and have a lobsterlicious day.